meeting is being recorded. It sure is, dude. Hello and welcome back to Real Horror Show. I'm your host, Samantha, and I'm joined, as always, by the Stormy Skies. Hello, listeners. We are in the midst of early summer. It has been raining here on and off all day. Really stressed me out while I was editing the recent podcast episode, Army of the Dead, which should be live well before this episode comes out uh so go listen to that if you haven't yeah go listen to it guys just go yeah. because you know the sky, the sky starts getting dark you already lost power once that day so you hit the save button yep. very frequently very frequently you're yeah. right how's the weather up there you know what sam it's very similar at least right now it is not raining but it's the type of day where AccuWeather thinks every hour is going to have a thunderstorm <laughs> and you you get hyped up for it you do but you never know which hour it will occur or mm-hmm. none it could be none so it's just one of those days yeah we haven't we got some thunder earlier this afternoon Ooh, that's fun but, uh not a like big storm yeah just some rumbles of thunder like they like to say yeah and uh our little wildflower garden has been enjoying the rain oh good uh we finally have some flowers budding and they're very beautiful nice you're so gonna have to share some pics on the insta i will your and, personal uh, insta <laughs> i got some african violets from someone at work and i immediately killed them oh, but God. They're, they're, they're doing better now we okay, repotted good. them good, good. um Apparently African violets are very temperamental and you shouldn't get water on their leaves. Otherwise they turn brown and commit Shit. suicide. But the leaves are looking healthy again. Um, the, the actual flowers are dead except for one of them. But we have faith that they will start coming back to life in the next few weeks. Excellent. Excellent. Um, I planted some flowers myself, very small ones. That, and, and the ticket said full sun And alas, they have died because the sun must have been so harsh. Um, And then, but I was gifted a little like fresh thyme plant. Mm. So that thing seems to be doing okay. We'll we'll let you know though. (laughs) Yeah, it's, you want the aesthetics of being like a plant mom. Yes, but I can't keep a single one alive. Those gorgeous Instagram apartments where they're just filled with all these ferns and plants. And their water bill must be insane. <laughs> sky high, I but know. <laughs> somehow they managed to keep all these things alive. And, and all their window blinds must be open like 24 seven to get the sunlight. <laughs> I mean, goals, but so much, so much work. No, it's like, what, like, what have I done wrong? Like, what am I doing wrong? I'm, it's, I'm really trying, but they, it's so tough to keep them alive. So I don't know. Yeah. But we're not here to talk about plants. Yeah. I mean, we're here to talk about whatever we want. Uh, but exactly, exactly. To this week, we're talking about the Vampire Diaries and picking our next movie to review. And uh, we already picked it because it's Pride Month. We're yes. going with Jennifer's Body, which is now available on Hulu. Jennifer's Body. I freaking love that movie, dude. I must have watched it like a thousand times. Freaking love that shit. I have never watched it because the biggest discussion I know around like the 10 year anniversary of Jennifer's body, because I did watch some of those interviews with Diablo Cody and Megan Fox Mm -hmm. about how the marketing kind of really screwed them over. I know, I know now in my adulthood that (laughs) the movie was intended for teenage girls or like young adult teenage girls that demographic but because of Megan Fox and because of Transformers because of Michael Bay and how just Hollywood was marketing Megan Fox they marketed that movie towards teenage boys so teenage girls didn't go see it and teenage boys hated it Uh, (laughs) they just got really screwed over and I was one of those girls Mm -hmm. who you know fuck Megan Fox because she's hot and the stupid douchebag that I like keeps talking about how hot she is right in front of me so (laughs) I'm not gonna see that stupid movie but now I'm gonna see that stupid movie oh it's you'll really like it it's pretty awesome (laughs) I bet I will because it is written by Diablo Cody and I love Juno Ooh, I didn't realize that was the same one of the same so 
Description on Hulu, Megan Fox is a luscious teen temptress who's night out with an occult obsessed rock band, leaves her beaten, sorry, my window's open and I just saw David walk by taking out the trash, uh, <laughs> and leaves her beaten, bruised, and lusting for blood. Nice. Uh, this ah. movie stars Megan Fox, Amanda Seyfried, Adam Brody, and J.K. Simmons. Yes, nice. Great cast. Excellent cast. <laughs> J.K. Simmons' character is pretty funny. I mean, J.K. Simmons himself is just... Just a delight. It's a national goddamn treasure. national treasure. God damn it. He is. He could be anything. There's a. There's been a lot of rumors about the new Spider movie. Uh, no Air Way movie. Home. And he plays J.J. Um, J.J. The newspaper JJ. guy in the Tobey yeah. Maguire Spider-Man movies. And they brought him back nice. for the new ones for the same <gasps> role. And it's like you know a role belongs to you right exactly (laughs) you said like spider movie but i I knew you meant spider-man movie (laughs) spider-man movie yeah all right it's the same (laughs) yeah all right so let's get into season four the first half of the the fourth season of the vampire diaries yes so as we were watching the first three seasons Mm -hmm. I got the vibe from the Vampire Diaries fandom and my own friends who had watched the Vampire Diaries that Elena sucks. And I did not know why they thought that because she's, I mean, she's a little selfish sometimes, but generally a sweetheart. She cares about her friends, cares about her brother. Right. Um, I get it now. Yes. I absolutely get it now. I get it too. And there was one episode that really drove the nail into the coffin, so to speak, of me saying, wow, what the fuck? And she's so annoying because there's the episode where she like calls Damon after he's told her off. And she's like, Damon, I love you. Like, I love you. And I was like, what the fuck, Elena? Like, like figure your shit out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> over her, man. So at the top of, at the end of season three, it was revealed that Elena was given vampire blood before her car plummeted off the same bridge that her parents' car plummeted off of. And she died, but she came back to life because she had vampire blood. And now we're dealing with vampire Elena. So when you're a vampire, all your feelings are heightened. And uh, turns out it was Damon's blood that was given to her. So now she's sired to him because of some fan fiction bullshit. Of course she's sired. That's just, I'm, I'm, wow, like, I'm done as with that soon as, as soon as that was revealed, I was like, did they let Wattpad write this season? I was like, this is stupid. If I yeah. hear the word sired again, I'm going to scream. It is so stupid because I really did like the buildup of Elena and Damon's relationship in season three it felt very natural they had really good chemistry but now at this point it just feels a little gross and yeah fantasy. because I don't know if it's real I don't know if it's yeah. real because <laughs> like, it's like oh she's sired to him oh you can only be sired to a vampire if you were in love with him before you died <laughs> and like what is this bullshit that's stupid like, that means everybody is like sired to people that they created as vampire you know it, yeah I, whatever and uh, like what poor that's, Stefan yeah poor Stefan he's just at least he has Carolina as a friend and she legit said like she's like there's something wrong with Elena like she this and season. like, I don't know what it is with Vampire Elena, but she's also a lot dumber. She just, she seems, <laughs> oh my god! Please give me an example of when you thought she she did a dumb thing. Um, I don't know when she's having a drunken girls' night with her best <laughs> friends, and she's just casually like, "I slept with Damon." I know. <laughs> yeah, and they're just like, "Oh," and she's like, "Well, sorry that you hate him." Like. Uh, and meanwhile, yeah. Stefan's been like working really hard because he discovered that there's a cure for vampirism. Right. Um, with he Klaus. Knows she's, yeah, she shouldn't really be a va- like, but now that begs the question, is she going to remain a vampire or is she going to turn back to a human again? Like, what's up with Elena? I don't know. I hope she goes human and I hope Stefan is still end game. Yes. Because I, th- their romance was just so pure. 
It was, but like, I wouldn't blame Stefan if he was just like mad at her and wouldn't want to be with her. But then again, it's Stefan. So of course he'll take her back. But like, I don't want her to keep going back and forth between these two men constantly. Yeah. Because oh, they're God. brothers and they already went through that with Catherine. Yeah. Hey, is Catherine dead or is she away? Like, I totally I think, forgot. I think she's away. I don't remember her dying. Me neither. I, th- I guess she's just like, well, then that also begs away. Is she going to come back and do something? Is she gone for right now? And hey, I hope back? so. I would like some Catherine and Elena adventures. Yeah, because now they are both vampires. Is so that Shadow or Pepper? That was Pepper. She's she's doing bad behind me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing bad stuff is what I like to say when you're a cat owner. They're just doing bad stuff all the time. Yeah. Um, but especially, yeah. Especially uh since black cats are usually a lot more playful. Oh yeah. Than she... Any other breed of cat, they're usually the most notorious for getting into trouble. Yeah, they, um, the, yeah, she uh, just, um, there's another chair in this room and she, there's like a little blanket covering the chair to sit on and she made, now the blanket's on the floor, you know, just like little mischievous things. Mm-hmm. She's not being that bad though. But anyway, aside from Pepper, um, the, yeah, this is also getting on my nerves this season. Who is? Tyler. Yeah, werewolf oh hybrid. God. Yeah, the I don't know where to begin because, like, yeah, Tyler's like, oh yeah, I'm like the alpha hybrid, but now all his all his people are dead. Mm-hmm. So you're the you're the alpha of who, Tyler? Yeah, oh, yeah, of nobody. And then his mom's your mom, dead. oh, she's dead too. But now he's like mad. <laughs> now he lives in a house by himself, and his family's dead. And so how, how many orphan children are in this town? Yeah. And how many people are still in this town? Because they still have dances. They still have balls. And it's still packed in a full community. Does Damon just go around after every mass murder and <laughs> compel people to forget? I guess so. Um, and like, that's that's fine. But yeah, there, we're, we're, we're running out of people now more than ever before. People are dying inside the town. People are dying outside the town people are vampires um Mm -hmm. there's like two humans (laughs) oh my goodness i i don't know yeah tyler luckily luckily though matt is still alive he's hanging in there thank god for matt being a human oh my god he's still my saving grace of the show uh jeremy is now a vampire hunter (laughs) yeah jeremy um and his invisible tattoo and that that's pretty cool because that makes sense because his father was like a vampire hunter and all these things so i understand where that's coming in um who else is annoying oh the uh the professor guy is annoying because i'm like who are you the good guy are you the bad guy like it's trust all trying to trick people they all know what you've done like and his uh, budding relationship with bonnie is a little uncomfortable yeah it's pretty awkward and they're like he's such a hot professor i'm like he's really not that hot guys (laughs) you just think that because you're seniors and he's the first professor you've ever met right exactly we've all been there <laughs> from college how long are they going to be seniors sam I'm, I'm waiting for them to graduate like when i guess the end of the season they'll graduate right and then next season we'll be on to college yeah. jobs like should they even go to college that's just gonna lead the slaughter to another town, town. yeah because we understand now that people people talk about mystic falls and they say that mystic falls is uh it's like um infested with vampires and then the if they move on another town is just going to be infested like you said yeah because elaine is like a magnet for them and now she's a vampire i know <laughs> she's ridiculous <laughs> she's i'm um, just over elena over the professor tyler's just annoying <laughs> i just want bonnie and caroline Klaus can stay because I really think he and Caroline are cute. I kind of want her to like get with him because he really does like her mm-hmm. and he really wants to take her around the world and stuff. And I'm like, Caroline, just go with him. Like Tyler's and, a big loser. Yeah, Tyler fucking <laughs> sucks. She needs to get back together with Matt or 
get together yeah, with Klaus. Matt or Klaus. Like Tyler was like trying to get with the random werewolf girl who's like very mysterious. Like and yeah. Between Jacob Black and Tyler, <laughs> I am just like over vampires. They are not good love interests. They're so cocky. You mean werewolves, and- you mean werewolves. <laughs> What did I say? You said vampires, which is sorry, okay. sorry, werewolves because werewolves. they're just so cocky and obnoxious. I know, and they're like, "Oh, I'm full of rage! <laughs> like I will kill you, and one bite from me will kill a vampire." Like, okay, like okay, great, like, like um, chill, chill, bro. Yeah, like chill because now you are able to turn on your own, so you don't even have to turn at the full moon because you're in complete control. So I don't want to hear it mm-hmm. anymore. Ah. <sighs> So that's happening. Our newest characters are the professor who is now like the bad guy. We have Mm -hmm. Bonnie's dad, who's the new uh, mayor of the town. And I guess he's the, he's the next character who's going to try to clean up this vampire problem. Who knows if they'll succeed. I wonder how that's going to go since the show hates Bonnie and yeah, likes killing everyone she cares about i know literally and yeah she's another one where it's like who does she live with that's alive nobody <laughs> i guess her dad but oh man but she said that her dad doesn't like her so i don't know this town is very weird when it comes to these high school students and who their guardians are yeah unaccompanied minors yeah, I mean, like, I know it's a show and it's easy to get away with it because the, it, you're constantly focusing on just the characters, but, like, I'm always questioning, like, okay, well, where are their parents? <sighs> so that's that. We have the new werewolf girl mm-hmm. who, like, made a she deal looks, with... Yeah, She looks like Nikki Reed. She looks like Nikki Reed, and she also looks like this other actress who... I, have trouble pronouncing her name but she's also very pretty and she was in Twin Peaks and she was also in another she's like in a witch tv show Mm. um um, but this I actually looked up that actress and she is like Australian and sometimes I hear that accent slip up so I'm like girl better get a handle on your acting because I can hear that you're Australian sometimes she looks like Madchen Amick because they have the same eyebrows hmm. and uh, I'll send you the her link speaking of eyebrows I finally figured out what about Rebecca's face that annoys me that she like has no eyebrows yeah she has no eyebrows and when they are <laughs> visible they're straight so she kind of just always looks just sleepy like- <laughs> Yeah, and that's I, funny. I blame 2011, 2012 because the actress, I, I've come across her on TikTok. She's like really? very beautiful. She's super banging. Yeah, I looked her up too. I don't know what they did to her in the show, but she doesn't look as, like they didn't push her beauty to the max like they should as a vampire. Yeah. But yeah, I did that. sorry about that link. It's not even linked, but <laughs> anyway. Yeah, like she looks a lot better in the originals because they fixed her eyebrows. Oh yeah, and that'll be our next endeavor. <laughs> the originals. Yeah. It better be as good and as dramatic as this show. Yeah. Or else. Uh there's a there's also the um Reverend's daughter, the priest's daughter, whoever she is. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh uh I forget her name already, but she's a human. But now she like is kind of like a pawn for Rebecca, mm-hmm. I'm guessing. Which is fine. And she may die soon. I'm kind of getting that vibe. <laughs> Probably. She knows um, too much already. She is an orphan. She may die soon or become a vampire and then die soon. This is how the show goes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, probably a vampire and then probably death. a vampire and then either that or vampire then death so we'll see who wins this bet <laughs> yeah we're betting we're gonna bet now um so what is the last thing we saw did you finish on episode 11 i think i watched into episode 12 so oh, I'm, excellent i'm treading lightly on what i say okay so i finished on like episode I think I finished half of episode 11 and I did not quite, I don't think I quite finished it. Okay. Because there are some things coming up that I want to talk about, but I don't think you've seen them yet. So I won't spoil it for you. 
Okay, fabulous. But at this point, we are trying to deal with everybody looking for the cure for vampirism, if such a thing exists. And what they have to do is find the very first immortal being named Silas. And the way to find this cure is to either, <laughs> I'm sorry, this sounds so ridiculous and long and drawn out but you have to find a vampire hunter have him kill a bunch of vampires because the more vampires he kills the more his tattoo will spread and the whole tattoo will give you a map but you need a sword to read the map or alternatively apparently you could just get you could just get the professor to tell you where to go and take the tombstones so we have two paths to take towards this cure for vampirism who's going to get there first what are they going to do with it is Elena going to get it, you know? Um, so this is, this is what's happening right now without getting into too, too many details. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's probably going to be something stupid. Like the Reverend's daughter isn't going to turn into a vampire and die. Elena's going to, at the last minute, sacrifice her cure and give it to her. Um, yeah, I, and it's so cool because no matter how, how long ago this aired, Sam and I still don't know if Elena, like, is a vampire forever or not, which is pretty cool. So yeah, will she be like that and do annoying stuff like that? Or will she be human again? Human Elena. So mm -hmm. I'm trying see. not to look up spoilers, but... Don't, don't do that. I won't, but I like I won't. when you look up like behind the scenes stuff about what the actors did together. That's always fun. Yeah. Any new, any new news about that this week? Any new gossip about the actors? Not at the moment. Nothing's popped up on my okay, cool. <laughs> recommended. Excellent. Okay, cool. No worries. Well, in that case, that is where we're at. We're halfway through. We'll see how this season ends. But one thing we know for sure, they have to fucking graduate by the end of this season. They, they I'll be damned. <laughs> also, uh, unrelated to Vampire Diaries, but related to another show we like to talk about, Outlander yeah. season six has officially finished filming. Nice. So that'll be something to discuss. Yeah, absolutely. I, I have yet to finish the season that I'm on on Netflix, which is like the last season they put on Netflix. It's when they're in America, I think I'm like yeah. maybe four, three, four episodes in right now. Um, and it's been, it's been months since I tuned into that dude, because Vampire Diaries has really taken up every extra hour of my free time. As it should. As it should. And you know what? I'm so glad the show is, is like, I, I don't know what, what about it, but I love the show. So I'm glad that it's not like a stupid show that we've mm -hmm. vowed to watch all eight seasons of or however many seasons there are. And I'm proud of us for sticking with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really enjoy my time watching Vampire Diaries. It's a really great show to just kind of binge watch, honestly. It's so it easy to follow. I just pull it up on days that I have off and David doesn't and just open a book, pull that up and enjoy my coffee. Yeah, absolutely. And um, it, it's easy to follow, but also it, it satisfies me because at least five people die in every episode. Yeah. You know oh, I mean? shit. We haven't talked about the most important thing that's happened in the first half of the season. <laughs> they wrote in their diaries. Oh, shit. Yeah, they did. They wrote in their diaries. They're like, dear diary. They're like, dear Life diary. It's hard. been a while. Yeah, it's been a while, but... I should say that I'm loving being a vampire, but actually I am really depressed and I hate life. So yeah, but they haven't picked him up since. There was a moment when Rebecca was reading Stefan's diary and he was like, oh, just, just do it. I don't care. Like, you know what I mean? So they haven't written in it again. So maybe they'll remind themselves that the title is the vampire diaries and maybe they'll every, you know, first episode, they'll like write in it again. So hopefully every year they'll make an entry <laughs> hopefully yeah hopefully because as we understand with the show these diaries of people are really really important for passing down really useful information on like killing original vampires doing spells doing this doing that so if they stop writing in the diaries like they're they're endangering future generations who are going to live in mystic falls so they need to do their duty yeah hey pepper but that's all I have for this week. Yeah, dude, that's all. We're just trucking through Vampire Diaries, enjoying our summer of like possibly rainy weather and getting ready to watch 
Sam, for the first time, she'll be watching Jennifer's Body. So that is awesome. Yeah. And we're really excited to talk about it with you guys. Hell yeah. After she watches it, of course. All right. Well, that's all I have. And I do not have to read the outro notes. So all I have to say is I'll see you guys next week. Tune in on Hulu this time. Oh, not Netflix, but... <laughs> we're back. Sorry, we're back. But just I, say I got Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Talk to you guys next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye. I love the creepy doll that always follows me.